Hey guys, let's pause for a moment of science today and talk about Newton's second law of motion and we nicknamed that law velocity. Uh, while Newton has three different laws of motion, I personally think that he should have four laws of motion because law number two is big. It's huge. It's so big. It has two different concepts in it. It needs cut in half. I wish they would have asked me. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, describe to you Newton's second law, but I'm going to do it in two parts. So part number one has to do with um, the formula to calculate force and that is force equals mass times acceleration and what that means is how much force you need how much force you have all depends on two main things um, how much mass there is and how fast it's going it's acceleration it's rate of speed I want you to put in your mind uh, what would happen or what you think would happen or what it would look like if a kindergartner and a fifth grader we're running down the hall towards each other, okay? Now, if they are both running together and they collide, I want you to put in your mind what would happen. Hey guys, this is my son Drew. Say hi, Drew. Hey -o. Drew's gonna help us pause for a moment of science. So what we're gonna do is we, Drew and I are going to simulate the, um, the question that I have for you, it, which is imagine if you had a kindergartner and a fifth grader both running towards one another and they collide in the hall what that would look like now remember we're talking about force and motion we're talking about uh, Newton's second law which is force equals mass times acceleration so mass and acceleration so as you can see Drew and I Drew and I <laughs> she's a kindergartner I'm a kindergartner Drew is a fifth grader we have different mass all right we are going to run towards one another. Actually, just to stay in the frame of the camera, I'm going to run towards Drew. I'm the kindergartner. Drew is the fifth grader. We're going to show you what that looks like. All right, Drew, stay right there. All right. All right, here we go. Now, oh, on the first one, I'm going to have a small amount of acceleration, which is really easy for me because I, I can run slow better than anybody. So here we go. Small P amount of acceleration. PSA, don't try this at home. Right, We're what we you call experts. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay, that was a small amount of, um, of acceleration. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a large amount of acceleration. Stay still. <laughs> This is why we say don't try this at home. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Good. But I couldn't wait to get back from the hospital and talk to you about our experiment that we just did. All right, so on take one, I, um, I have less mass than Drew. And when I ran into him the first time, I had a low amount of acceleration, all right? And so when I ran into him with a small amount of acceleration, I changed direction very tiny little direction okay and it really it slowed me down but when I increased that speed and I really came at him man I went flying because the more acceleration you have the more and faster you are going to change direction so remember force equals mass times acceleration the more um, the more the more acceleration you have, the faster you're gonna change direction. It's called velocity. That's a fancy science word, velocity. And hey, you wanna see my fancy recording equipment? Oh my gosh, look at this, check this out. A water sprinkler and some duct tape. We are moving up in the society. I'm rolling in it, y'all.